Hi, Scott. Hi, Diane. So nice to meet you. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself personally and your experience with clinical trials? Absolutely. Um, I'm 35 years old, and about two years ago, July of 2009, I was in a diving accident where I dove in some shallow water and I broke my neck at the C3 level. And as a result, it left me paralyzed from the basically the shoulders down with no movement or feeling below my shoulders. And I spent several months in a hospital um, where I was rehabilitated. While I was at that hospital, I was approached by some of the doctors there about a device that they had um, created that would allow people with paralyzed muscles to be able to cough again. And the reason coughing was so important is, as a spinal cord injured patient, when you lose the ability to cough, you lose the ability to clear secretions um, in your lungs. And the number one cause of death among spinal cord individuals, or individuals with spinal cord injuries, is pneumonia. And because we don't have the ability to, um, uh, to cough, or our muscles are paralyzed and, and clear our lungs, we're more susceptible for pneumonia um, than able-bodied people. And at the time of my um, surgery, I was the 14th person in the world to receive the device. Did your family or friends have any concerns about your involvement with the trial? Um, they were very supportive, very, um, as I was too. I mean, I had the frame of mind that I wanted to get better and I wanted to do as much as I could to gain as much independence as I could, mm -hmm. even if it involved getting um, more surgery, having some you know, devices implanted in my body. Mm -hmm. If it would allow me to regain some independence and also help improve my health, um, to me it was a really an easy, easy decision to make. But there was a lot of information they covered, mm -hmm. and it was an overwhelming process. But the doctors that I worked with were very good at explaining everything, answering all the questions, sharing past results with me, as well as um, allowing me to speak to other people that had had the device themselves. Super. Did you say you wanted to demonstrate it for us? Absolutely. Um, you know, before I demonstrate, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Sure. Um, what, what it is, is because my abs are paralyzed, basically the t um, T9, T11, and L1, uh, at that point in the vertebrae, are where the nerves um, um, jet off of the spine that allow you to cough and contract your abs. Mm -hmm. And because those are paralyzed right now, if I try to cough, that's about the strongest cough I can get. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine if you're um, uh, you know, ch choking on something or something's in your throat, or you're trying to clear some secretions or um, some mucus that you had down there, that's not very effective. Mm -hmm. And as a result, they would have to, um, I had a trach at the time, they'd have to suction me. Mm -hmm. So I had the device implanted, and what that entails is a surgery where they actually go into your, um, you know, underneath your skin, mm -hmm. under your spine, and they attach electrodes at those three vertebrae, the T9, the T11, and the L1. And then there's a receiver that they place on your abdominal um, muscles, mm -hmm. and that's a radio frequency. Then there's an external device that basically mirrors the shape of the receiver that's placed on your abs, mm -hmm. and all you do is just tape that to your body or hold it against your body, press a button, and it sends a signal to, um, to the abs, and then it travels around the cord up, um, up to the, where the vertebrae are and basically causes those nerves to, to fire up and it contracts your abs as if you were coughing. Wow. So it happens in a matter of seconds and it's very effective as you'll see in a minute here. You want to press that number two button right there. Here we go. <coughs> mm -hmm. And sometimes even causes a little bit of a spasm. Mm -hmm. But as you can see that cough is obviously one. pretty effective and um, I think it even just cleared my throat just now. Yeah. Uh, and it, it doesn't hurt. And it, sometimes people ask me, does it hurt? Mm -hmm. It may look painful because your body moves, but it really feels no different than a normal cough that I had beforehand. And because it was so effective, it allowed me to have my trach removed um, uh, and, and that area closed up. And again, um, both physically as well as emotionally and psychologically, that was a big step. Um, I was very fortunate to be approached um, by the doctors at Metro and I'm um, obviously very grateful that I was able to take part in the trial, but wouldn't hesitate to, uh, to participate in another one, that's for sure. Thank you so much, I'm not a problem. Glad to be you here. You shared able to, so much learning absolutely. and uh, lessons for everybody. Yep. Um, I'm glad to, glad to be able to share my story. Much appreciated. Thank you.